In today's video, I'm going to give you a tip that I think is going to really help, especially if you like to back off players situationally and you can't do that because of the audibling system that exists in Madden 24. So like I said, I think this is going to help a lot of people because it, it it's a way to back your players off without having to really think too much about it. All right. And I'm going to explain why backing your players off is important as well. This is a little tip out of the dollar defense. If you guys want to get my entire dollar three, two defensive ebook that is available by being a Patreon member, it's only $10 to sign up. The link's going to be down in the description. All right, so real quick, just we're going to go over the blitz. We're going to go over why, uh, or we're going to, and we're going to go over um, the backing off of the slot corner. So auto flip defense play call off, auto alignment on base, free safety zone blitz. So what we're going to do, this is in uh, multiple defensive playbook in dollar. You can find it in any formation in dollar. This can find this in Chiefs as well. So all you're going to do is you're going to basically press, pinch your D line, and then this is what makes the blitz really good. You're going to back off the slot corner on the right. So the way that you do that is you're going to hit triangle on PlayStation or Y on Xbox. You're going to hit X on PlayStation or A on Xbox. You're going to hit the icon of the receiver that you want to uh, back off. Well, we want this to affect the slot corner, right? So we're going to back off the, we're going to back off Rice like that. And you see he goes back. Okay. So, and then we have, we can put that safety in his zone. And what you see is this blitz is the best blitz in the game. As you can see, four man, a gap, really good. The counter to this is basically audibling before you can get this adjustment off. Okay. This is what most people do. So, uh, you'll see here that when I audible to Durham, if I try to back off the slot corner, notice that he does not back off. Okay. Very important. Okay. See how he does not back off. I'm, I'm backing him off. He's not moving as you can see. Okay. Now, all I have to do, this is very important, is I'm going to base align twice and then I'm going to press. And what, look at what happens. See how he backs off. So that to me is a very, very important tip and a very, very important concept because we understand fundamentally the importance of backing off the right side corner. Now you might say, well, uh, how does this apply? Let's say, for example, if they audible to like trips tight end or something, we'll show that real quick. So let's say they audible to trip side in instantly. Again, this is an instant audible where you cannot, all you've done is you've, you've basically, you've come out, you've base aligned, you haven't base aligned or anything because um, you have that in your coaching adjustments. And all you've done is you've pressed your defense, right? That's all you've done is you've pressed your defense. Maybe you've pinched your defensive line and, and you're trying to back off the slot corner. But before you do that, they audible to trips tight end. Okay, they audible to trips tight end. And again, I'm backing off the slot. You see, he's not backing off on the right. Okay, so if I try to back off the running back, can't really do that either. So you see here, I'm kind of stuck. Again, what do we recommend? You back him off just like you normally would. You're just going to baseline twi uh, base line twice, and then you're going to press. And in this example here, um, in this example here, I actually backed off both of the slot corners on accident. But as you can see, the base align twice is what makes all of the difference. Okay, that is the important tip. Now, this is also super important in my opinion. Is let's say that they do the same. Everything is everything is going to happen exactly like we just said. Okay. But now let's say they audible to some random formation we've never seen before. Um, so we'll just give that example as well. So free safety zone blitz, pinch. So I press, I pinch, but they audible, right? They audible. So let's say they audible to doubles weak, for example. Okay. Uh, so they audible to doubles weak. And I am going to try to now, as you can see, back off the tight end. You see here, I can't. Again, baseline twice, and I can but there's something else that I want to go over that I think is really uh, significant in terms of this tip. Whatever formation they come out in, whatever formation they come out in, you can actually make it so that the defense will um, kind of like it will set itself up for you. So what you'll do is come out. OK, so I'm trying I'm, I'm backing off slot, but they audible. Right. So same situation here. They're going to audible to doubles weak. So instead of taking the time to say, OK, what icon is the tight end and having that misstep, right? I'm going to back off R1, brace line press, and take a look at this. You see how that slot still backs off? Actually, I guess he doesn't. Well, he does in game. <laughs> uh, he does in game. All right. So super important. Now, this also applies to like flipping. So let's say someone comes out a bunch and they flip their play. So you see here. This is a very, very important part of this. It's a lot of people like to flip and bunch. If I flip my play, I'm still just going to back off R1. Check this out. I don't have to care. I don't have to care. If they flip their play, 
then we're good. It's when they audible where this really messes up. But if they just flip in their play, you just back off R1, and it affects it affects this guy because technically they're still in the same formation. So these are just some little tricks of the trade uh, just in terms of getting your blitz to come in a little bit better. This will literally take this defense to the next level. The cool part about this, um, the, the, the really cool part about this is you can um, – it just allows you to be in the same defense, right? So, you know, they audible – like, like, let's say here, like, for example, they audible to trips. Okay, they're audibling to trips. I'm going to base a line twice, and then I'm going to press. And then, as you can see, I can now back this guy off. So the beauty of this is, I mean, unless they're really good at quick hiking, because if you think about it this year, most of the time they're having to, like, set up their play. They're having to typically two to three hot routes to set up a play this year. So um, this will help with that as well. The other thing that I was going to say uh, that I really like about this defense is let's say, for example, they go to trips. All you're going to do is audible to free safety zone blitz, which is in your audibles. Notice the D line does not move. And then again, you would have to baseline. You would have to do, you still have to do the baseline uh, trick. So, so anyway, as you can see, we set the defense up and then we can do, you know, whatever we want from our coverage. So this just really helps, I think, uh, make sure that your your free safety blitz is going to come in. In my opinion, the best the best a gap blitzer for this is Gronkowski, just because he's super big, and I do think that matters. Um, I just like the way he he a gaps. Some people will tell you it's small players. I'll tell you it's a bigger player. I'm not 100 percent sure. I think in in the end, 90 plus agility is really all you need. Thanks for watching the video. And if you guys want to learn more about this defense and how it actually functions as an entire system, join the Patreon. That's where you'll get my entire ebook where we teach the entire defensive system.